Merry Christmas. Just a few announcements before we get started. Uh, thank you all for your overwhelming generosity in giving warm outerwear to the younger Wasika area students. 42 hats, 6 pairs of mittens, and 26 pairs of gloves. 4 sets of hats and gloves, 3 hat scarf combinations, and 18 pairs of socks, 2 pairs of slippers were donated. The staff at Hartley was totally in awe of the quantity of items presented and said that the need for these items is incredible. Thank you again for your so generously giving. To God be the glory. Also, the funeral for Sandy Springmeyer will be Saturday, January 7th, with a 9, to, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. visitation. The service will start at 11. Um, the rest of the announcements I'll leave for your reading. And once again, good morning and Merry Christmas. <clears throat> To us, a child has been born. To us, a son has given his kingdom. A child of light will be called Mighty God, Prince of Peace, Wonderful Counselor. To us, a king has given his kingdom. To the king shall rule with justice and love. Glory to God for the child born. May his light shine in us forevermore. Amen. Amen. Christ, the light of the world, has come to dispel the darkness of our hearts. In his light, let us examine ourselves and confess our sins to God. The Virgin Mary accepted your call to be the mother of Jesus. Forgive us our lack of faith and trust in your will. Your Son, our Savior, was born in poverty in a manger. Forgive our greed and rejection of your ways. The shepherds left their flocks to go to Bethlehem. Forgive our self-interest and lack of vision. The wise men followed the star to find Jesus the King. Forgive our reluctance to seek you. The angel said, you shall call him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. With great joy, I declare the entire forgiveness of all your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Please be seated. <laughs> Our first lesson today is the promise of a child. It comes from the book of Isaiah, ch chapter 9, verses 1 through 2 and 6 through 7. But there will be no gloom for her who was in anguish. In the former time, he brought into contempt the land of Zebulon and the land of Naphtali. But in the latter time, he has made glorious the way of the sea and the land beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the nations. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, on them has light shone. For, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Here ends the first lesson. Please join us in singing From Heaven Above on page 51 in your green hymnal. We will be singing verses 1, 2, 12, and 14.
second lesson today comes from the prophet Micah, chapter 5, verses 2 through 5, the ruler to be born in Bethlehem. But you, O Bethlehem, Ephrathah, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has given birth. Then the rest of his brothers shall return to the people of Israel. And he shall stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord, who is God. And they shall dwell secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be their peace. Micah 5, chapter 2 through 5. Now join us in singing Old Little Town of Bethlehem, number 41 in your green Lutheran book of worship. We'll be singing stanzas 1 and 4. 1 and 4. lesson today comes from the book of Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 through 38, the birth of Jesus foretold. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying, and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give, him, will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. And, the Mary, and Mary said to the angel, How will this be since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word, and the angel departed from her. Please join us in singing What Child Is This, found in your green hymnal on page 40, stanzas one and two.
the birth of our Lord Jesus, as told by Luke in chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Irenaeus was the governor of Syria, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them at the inn. Please join us in singing Away in a Manger, number 67. Our fifth lesson today comes from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 through 20. The angels appear to the shepherds. And in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping, the, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning the child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart, and the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. Please join us in singing Angels We Have Heard on High, found on page 71 in your green hymnals. <laughs>
our sixth lesson, Jesus is presented at the temple. This will be from Luke chapter 2, verses 21 through 35. And at the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And when the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male who first opens the womb shall be called holy by the Lord, and to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was righteous and devout, waiting for the conclusion waits. <clears throat> of Israel and the Holy Spirit was upon him, and it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation that you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for the revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. And his father and mother marveled at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is appointed for the fall and rising of many in Israel and for a sign that is opposed, and sword will pierce through your own soul also, so that thoughts from many hearts may be revealed. <clears throat> You'll find good Christian friends rejoice, number 55 in your Lutheran book of worship. the wise men from the east in our seventh lesson today coming from the book of Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 through 11. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king behold wise men from the east came to Jerusalem saying where is he who has been born king of the Jews for we saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When king when Herod the king heard this he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him and assembling all and assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, 
He inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet. And you, O Bethlehem, and the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who will, who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem saying, go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word that I too may come and worship him. After listening to the king, they went on their way. And behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshiped him. Then opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. Please join us in singing the first Noel found in, on page 56 in your green hymnals. lesson comes from Matthew chapter 2 verses 13 through 18 the flight to Egypt and the slaughter of the innocent 
Now when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt and remain there until I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. And he rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed to Egypt and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Out of Egypt I have called my son. Then Herod, when he saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, became furious, and he sent and killed all male children in Bethlehem and in all the region who were two years old or under, according to the time that he had ascertained from the wise men. Then he was fulfilled, then was fulfilled what was spoken by the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, weeping and loud lamentation. Rachel weeping for her children, she refused to be comforted because they are no more. Our next hymn will be, I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day, which you can find printed in your bulletin. Our ninth lesson today comes from the book of John, chapters, chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. The Word became flesh. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him, what, there was, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and in the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to bear witness about the light, that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness about the light. The true light, which gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came, to, he, he came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. 
and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. Please join us in singing of the Father's love begotten, found on page 42 in your green hymnals. Stand as you are able and turn to page 65 and join me in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his Son. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please remain standing and we will sing. Mark the herald angels sing. 
hymn number 60. people and the people of the church. After each petition, I will respond, Lord, in your mercy, if you would respond, hear our prayer. Gracious Father, you have called us into your household of faith and made us brothers and sisters in Christ. We thank you for ordering our lives and providing for our needs. Guide us by your word that our homes and places of work may reflect the diligence, respect, and faithfulness to which you have called us. Help us by your spirit to see the everyday opportunities we have to serve you by loving our neighbors. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we give you thanks that in your great mercy you sent your only Son to become incarnate and to redeem us from sin and everlasting death. We pray that you would so reign in our hearts by your Holy Spirit that we may give thanks always for your grace and may find comfort and strength through your promise in every time of trial and temptation. Lord, in your mercy. Heavenly Father, you are the creator and giver of life. We thank you for the birth of children and entrusting them to our care. Give your boundless hope and joy to expectant parents. Bind young children and new parents in love. Reveal your life-giving promises through the witness of families. Lord, in your mercy. Light of the nations, grant that the light of your healing might shine on those living with illness, addiction, loneliness, or anxiety. Let's take a moment and silence. Bless them with your tender care and turn their mourning into joy. Lord, in your mercy. Let us pray the Lord that Jesus taught us to pray. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. May the Lord grant his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Join us in our closing hymn, number 70, Go Tell It on the Mountain.